Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, the ISM non-manufacturing index for September slowed to 56.9 compared to 59 from the prior month. This was unexpected, but the index still remains at a strong level. Investors increasingly believe that no Fed rate hike will occur this year. Markets rallied strongly with the Dow Industrials closing up 304 points. On Tuesday, the trade deficit increased $6.5 billion to $48.3 billion, blamed partly on a surge in imports of new iPhones, along with weak exports due to the strength of the dollar. On Wednesday, the Mortgage Bankers Association reported that weekly mortgage applications shot up 25.5% due to apprehension over new mortgage regulations. On Thursday, jobless claims for the week ending October 3rd fell 13,000 to 263,000, and the four-week moving average is at 267,500, both extremely low numbers. The Federal Reserve released minutes from their September meeting and specifically mentioned that recent global developments would likely keep inflation contained in the near term. Markets closed up modestly. On Friday, export prices for September fell 0.7%, import prices fell 0.1%, and markets opened slightly higher. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Last Monday, Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey was appointed the new permanent CEO by its board of directors. Dorsey will be running two companies, Twitter as well as Square, the mobile payments company he also co-founded. Shares of Twitter were up more than 6% after the announcement. Shares of PMC Sierra, a semiconductor maker for telecom networks, surged more than 33% Tuesday after Skyworks Solutions announced it will acquire the company. Skyworks, a semiconductor manufacturer, also a supplier to Apple, will pay shareholders of PMC Sierra $10.50 a share, a 37% premium relative to the share's closing price at Monday. Microsoft Corporation unveiled several new products last Tuesday, including its first laptop called the Surface Book with a claimed 12-hour battery life. Microsoft also revealed two new Lumia smartphones running Windows 10, a new fitness-focused wearable called Microsoft Band 2, and a Surface Pro 4 tablet. Yum! Brands shares dropped 18% on Tuesday during after-hours trading following release of the fast food company's third quarter report. Sales in China grew by only 2%, way below expectations of 9.6%. Yum! Brands generates more than half of its profits in China, and the slowdown is partly blamed on a supplier scandal last July. The New York Times announced plans to double its digital revenue over the course of the next four years. The media giant is planning to increase the number of paid online subscribers and attract more young and international readers. The Times has 400 million annual revenue through online subscriptions and advertising, and the plan is to double that to 800 million annually by 2020. Shares of the company closed higher on Wednesday. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker, and I'll see you again next week.